Hey, I'm Paul Barker from Moleco Heavy Industry. Uh, we're here at NAM. You know, we have a booth. It's lovely. We're into pink. So uh, we have a few new products for this NAM. One is this uh, comb over. It's a spectral processor. It's a comb filter with a sequencer. Uh, it's a multi-band uh, uh, effect unit that uh, sweeps back and forth here. Sounds pretty wonderful. Next, uh, um, this is a brand new product. In fact, this is a, a prototype enclosure. It's not actually going to end up looking in that the, the color scheme is probably going to be different. Next, we have a sample rate reducer. This pedal is called the Screw Tator. Uh, it has a expression out that you can use. It's a signable expression you can use to adjust the rate or bandpass filter. You can sweep those. Has a, a resonance on the bandpass filter. Uh, lastly, our new product for this NAM is uh, Sneak Attack, which is an attack decay pedal. It has a traditional uh, auto threshold setting here, so it's uh, amplitude based depending on how you play, and then you set, it has individual attack time and decay time. You, you can choose to uh, have a very long envelope. Uh, the attack length is six seconds, the decay length is six seconds, so you can have a total of 12 seconds for your <laughs> cycle. It's a bit absurd. And then we have, uh, uh, for each attack and the decay, you can choose your curves setting, so you can have exponential and linear curves. Uh, also, this pedal has a manual mode, so if you don't want to uh, have the um, attack decay on the, all the while that you're playing the passage of your song, you can have it in manual mode where you just trigger it one time and it'll do whatever settings that you have here one time and then return to the uh, original level. It'll also go into LFO mode, which essentially in this case makes it like a tremolo. And you can play with the rate of the uh, tremolo, of course here using the attack decay and it also changes the nature of it if you have a slower attack. Um, you know, it kind of swoops into it, and you can also mess with the curve, which will uh, allow um, many different sounds as far as the LFO setting, tremolo setting. It can become glitchy uh, and spittly, or it can become smooth, you know, like a sine wave, a standard uh, kind of tremolo. So that's what we have new at NAMM this year. Thank <laughs> you. 